Here is another question that one of our viewers had, and they wanted to know what exactly a section is on a set of building plans. And about the best way I could describe it would be to take a section of the building, for example, a stairway, and then grab a knife and slice that section in half. And a section is usually going to be represented on a floor plan or another part of the building plans with a straight line representing exactly where it's going to be cut in half with your giant knife and it's usually going to have some type of a symbol and a page number in this area representing where the section can be found and in this example here we're going to go to page s7 on the building plans and then we will look for number three and sometimes you're going to have an arrow some type of an arrow representing which direction the section view will be going and that's usually going to be an arrow pointing in the left direction or the right direction and hopefully not in the wrong direction. Sorry, I couldn't help myself with that one. So let's go ahead and take a look at a section pointing towards the right side of our building plan. And a section is going to provide the builder with a little more information about how the building components can be assembled. And it's not going to be uncommon in a section to find other arrows or architectural detail symbols pointing to a smaller section that will provide the builder with more detail. For example, you might have a section of how the top of the stair stringers are going to connect to either a ledger or a landing or even a upper floor. And it's not going to be uncommon to have more than one section on a set of building plans. Now let's take a look at what it would look like if it was going in the opposite direction. And this is the direction represented on the set of building plans. And here we can see the stringer. And this would only be possible if the stringer was located in the center or on the exact line referenced on the building plans. And that's not what I did here. I have the line a little bit further to the right. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at a floor plan with just a set of stairs and no interior walls to provide you with a realistic view of what it would look like on the building plans. So the first thing we're going to have will be some type of a line representing exactly where it's going to be cut on the building or in the stairway here, which is this line here. Then we're going to be able to get a two-dimensional view, not a three-dimensional view like the the ones we were just looking at. Now I say that, who knows with the building plans today what you're going to get. However, if you're looking at a set of building plans on paper, most of the time you're going to end up with something like this. And that will be a section of the concrete footings, the floor, the floor framing, the stair stringer, the floor, and the walls. And in some cases, the engineer will draw all of the framing components and provide the builder with details on how to frame every section of the stairway, every part of the stairway. However, in some cases, the builder will need to make modifications to the engineer and hopefully these modifications won't be excessive. Otherwise, you're going to need to contact the engineer. And hopefully by now you have a pretty good idea where a section is going to be located on a set of building plans, along with what it will look like and a few reasons why they're used by architects and building designers.